Hey everybody, my name is Dante. I'm uh, from Loki High Entertainment, and today I want to start a YouTube journey with everybody, I suppose, uh, giving some quick tips on how to do certain things uh, between coding, modeling, all that nonsense to kind of get your indie spots where you're at, or if you're thinking about being a game developer, um, to learn things quick and on the fly and then you're able to produce the game that you want to be able to produce. So without further ado, uh, <laughs> today I'm going to go over planes. So right now I'm in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, this is just a third person template. You have uh, your dude doing dude stuff, etc. and so on. So um, what I'm going to cover today is something really, really simple. It's a textured plane. Um, so what I originally did is I went into Blender, went ahead and crossed that out. Uh, Blender is probably going to be your favorite, uh, being an indie game developer, just because Maya costs a lot of money and it's just, you know, um, but for this, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and add a plane. Um, if you don't know how to use, uh, Blender for this, it's really not that important. Um, I'll have a whole different blender uh tutorial on on the side so you can follow along and you'll know uh, cool helpful hints to get you to do things but uh for now super easy you'll start off in object mode uh you click the the mesh that was there press the x button um sometimes it'll ask you to delete it or it'll just delete it just delete it uh that camera too just delete it and whatever the hell that thing is, just delete it. And then <laughs> what we're going to do is up here on the object mode, just hit add, mesh, and then plane. Bam. Super easy, right? Okay, next thing you do, um, you're going to go into edit mode and use the, the mouse roll to scroll up. And you honestly don't need to do anything else, but go down here on the left-hand side. There's something called a loop cut, and just cut that sucker in the loops that's really all you're doing anyway so once you're done with that um, you want this mesh to be pretty quote-unquote meshy I guess or you, you want a lot of cuts in it um, the more cuts the better the performance for this little tip but um, something like that I mean super simple um, and then what you're gonna do is file you can save your project as uh, plain or plain whatever plain textures doesn't really matter and then just export it as a FBX which is right here so you'll hit that it'll uh, ask you to do some stuff name it etc and so on blah 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 now from there what you're going to do is um, open up your files keep uh, Unreal Engine open and this is kind of a cool little trick is that you can grab it and you can actually just place it into the world or not into the world but into your content folder here um, it's gonna ask you some FPS objects because it's a plane it doesn't really matter just import it and Shazam now you have the plane that you just worked on and you can just drag that into the world position it where you want it positioned um, etc and so on so here's the trick uh, now that you have this cool little mesh, um, the first thing you want to do is if you want to do multiple meshes, just right click and go ahead and duplicate this and name it something different. Uh, say like, I don't know, grass. Graw, whatever. And that way, uh, when you work on your untitled plane here, that you're able to... Oh. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Don't hit the delete button. Um, but when you when you work on your other plane, it doesn't affect the new plane. So just make sure that you're saving everything. There's a little save button up here that'll just save everything that's on your screen. Um, so for this texture, I decided to use Quixel Bridge. Um, Quixel's got a lot of cool stuff in it. You just sign up for it when you... Um, download Unreal Engine 5 and do all that nonsense and what I'm looking for is um, 
I think I, I believe I found it at a rocks. Um, because I've already got it downloaded just to save some time here. But uh, let's go with local. Yeah, it's it's called Jagged Rock is the uh, thing. So your local keeps everything that you've downloaded in the past, and you're able to add it to your project. Uh, I chose a high quality for this one. The better the quality, the better the render it is, but it's not exactly necessary. Um, so I added this to my project, right? So from here, from the outliner, doo -doo -doo -doo, hold it. All right. So from the from the outliner, you have what's called mega mega scans, and that's nine times out of ten the folder that that's going to go into. Um, you can keep it as is. I'm not going to tell you guys how to organize things, um, but tutorial purposes we'll just do it this way and you can move this however you want it uh, when you go ahead and rename things make sure you rename them and make sure you put them in the folders you want them in before you start the project um, just because when you're starting to code and you're like hey I want this uh, material instance jagged rock or whatever and then you type it out and you find out it's not there anymore or you find out that it's named something different it's going to mess up your code like midway when you change things. So make sure you name everything. Make sure you put it in the folder that you want it to be put in. That's the whole shebang. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this or left click and drag this material instance on top of this plane. Super easy. Um, and right now it looks pretty. I mean, it looks okay it, it, for like a. Uh, Really small game, like a top-down, maybe. Um, it's just not a great quality, I guess. Uh, so from here, um, it'll probably open the details panel. It'll tell you, like, textured plane. This is the uh, the material that you're going into, etc. and so on. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do with this is we're going to go up to um, modeling mode right so here's where the quote-unquote magic happens and from here um, we're going to scroll down into a place called displace and what this is gonna do is it's going to yeah it's gonna make it look weird um, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take your map the map for the texture and it's going to gauge the dark spots with the light spots and it's going to kind of elevates the best it can with your texture so from here we're gonna go to displacement type and we're gonna go texture 2d map because that's what it is um, your displacement map now some some of these come with a displacement map which is great um, but not a lot of them do so what you're what you're gonna be looking for is your ordinary map um, nine times out of ten actually I'm gonna say ten out of ten there's always an ordinary map um, just click this sucker drag it into the displacement map because um, honestly they're all they're literally all the same map uh, for the most part they're just different versions of it so from there, um, underneath displacement map, there'll be channel. You can go ahead and click. Oh, hold on. I think it's loading. Do, do, do. Yeah, okay. So you can go ahead and uh, click the channel and change it to blue. And that is going to change it to your displacement map. Your displacement map always sits on blue. So it doesn't really matter what map you choose. Blue will go ahead and transfer that, and then bada bing, bada boom, there it is. Um, from there, we have okay, so it's it's doing a pretty good job, as is. Um, one uh, one helpful tip is the camera speed. You can go ahead and make it slow, make it fast, etc. and so on. Um, usually, when I do close up things, I keep it at two. But see how it's uh, kind of sort of doing what it's supposed to do it, it has a 3d look to it uh, but it's still you know 2d um 
So let's do the intensity. I don't know. Let's go with five. No, actually, you know what? Ten, ten looked, ten looked really nice. Um, maybe we can push that a little bit more. If you keep pushing it, eventually it'll stretch the mesh to make it look just insane. Um, you don't, obviously, you don't really want that. Actually, that's really not that bad. I might stick with like an 18 or something, but like, say we, uh, I don't know, say you push this up to 50, right? It'll just look insane. Uh, <laughs> It'll, it'll stretch those pixels out, and it'll just ha you, you have a bad day. So um, I'm going to go with 18 on mine. Uh, I, I lied. Okay, maybe 16. Yeah. 16 is a pretty good pretty good go for me. Okay. So from here, once, you're, once you like what you're doing with it, um, you can go ahead and increase the subdivisions. I would say 8 is probably the max that you want to go. Um, and that just basically subdivides it even more just to make it fit, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking 8 subdivision, displacements 16. That's okay with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit accept. And it's going to take... Uh, take a minute or so to do its thing aha and uh, from there well wait for it Yep, and then from there you have a mesh that you can walk on. It's pretty, uh, pretty nice. Now for um, for games, you can go ahead and hit this item. You also want to simplify the geometry uh, for video games. Usually, a mesh of fifty is good to go. Or not a mesh, but a uh, target percentage, 50. Um, that's usually the normal setting, so that's really, um, you know, but if it ever goes above that or below that, 50 is, 50 is the good, I'm going to import this into a video game, make it look cool kind of thing. So we'll um, go ahead and, oh, I guess it does want to do that. Okay. So we'll accept it. And it'll take its sweet time doing its thing again. Dun, 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 dun. Sweet. Okay. So now when we play this map, we can go back to select mode. Um, when we play this map, you can see that our character actually interacts with the ground. Um, because it has all those little triangles or the squares uh, for the geometry or whatever. So it basically took the um, collision and it warped it with the texture so you have you know dynamic rocks etc and so on and then obviously you can make this as big as you want you can tile it out uh, we'll cover that in other videos but I thought I'd just uh, share this and see you next time